Welcome everyone to the first episode of Seven Days to Die. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the premise of the game real quick before I get into character and continue on like that. So this will be a roleplay kind of game uh, based off Seven Days to Die. I'm going to hurry through these little starter quests. My goal is to get uh, either a hundred thousand dukes, which are the currency of the time, or a gyrocopter. This character's been stranded here by the Duke of Navas game, and every seven days a horde of zombies is released onto the valley. They can travel through the radiation zone, but I can't without a gyrocopter, or bribing the Duke to get out. So, that's the goal. I want to try and uh, focus on the highlights of it. I it's a bit of a grindy game and I enjoy it. I love watching other creators do this. But I'm going to just <laughs> condense down what I can. Uh, Alright. That being said, hope you all enjoy. Alright. Got to my first house and creeping through some blinds here. Uh, there might not be any undead in here, but I don't want to risk it with just a, a, a hard wooden stick and some hope. Uh, I probably need to increase something here. I've got four skill points to spend. I do want to be able to make weapons and forges. Sexy Rex is always good. Uh, just being able to use my weapons and tools without him being exhausted. Yeah, I'm going to get hurt, <laughs> so kicking my metabolism up would be a good idea. And uh, I'm going to need to gather up tools and resources. Ah, cloth. Uh, more cloth means more bandages, which... I don't want to waste my first aid bandage right off the bat if I get hurt by, I don't know, some random sharp clawed zombie. Ooh, trash. Wood. In the words of Cap, free wood's always good. And let's see. Coffee? Maybe? Eh, coffee beans. I think I know how to make coffee. If not, I'm going to learn that the farming tree is under <laughs> underused, in my opinion. The uh, the red teas and whatnot are simple to make, and I don't have to worry about just drinking junk water. <laughs> uh, sure, uh, I can scrap some of this stuff down. All right. Uh, I'm. Eh, oh no, nothing. Okay. Usually behind these little doorways there's zombies hiding. Oh well. I don't at least have to deal with that for right now. Eh, toilet water. It's fine. Probably pee. Alright, let's go on up. I cannot wait to find a headlight. This is... This dark's a little much. <laughs> no? No? Nothing? Alright. Well... More stuff to grab. Uh, ooh. A hat. Yes. And it's the red dye. So at least I can stay on color and brand. Uh, but, ooh. More books. I I love reading books. I'm, I doubt I'll be able to collect a whole series before I bail. But maybe that'll be something I'll try later on. Some shades. Face mask. Alright, yeah. All, right. All I need to do now is just keep focusing on making more arrows, getting my stuff together, and trying not to die. Alright, what's in. Ooh, more books. 
Da, da, da. Oh, uh, yay, paper. I'm sure, I'm sure that's going to be handy somewhere down the road. Not, oh, I got two of the same book. Okay, well, I'll read one and sell the rest later. I'm head trying to find one of the settlers here soon. Uh, nope, nothing hidden up there. Okay. Neat. Uh, my back's gonna kill me with all this junk weighing me down. Oh. Let me get some food in me and I'm heading toward a trader. Long walk. Oh, let's go ahead and grab up some resources while we go. I'll uh, get some frames and stuff together. I guess I'm going to be here for a, at least a week. Stupid duke. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I'll get some more frames crafted and I can go ahead and start looking for stumps to grab honey from. They're... Uh, Honey's found in stumps, usually. I don't think I've ever seen a giant bee come through here to try and harvest some off their corpse yet, so there's always that. the duke keeps these places from being hurt by the zombies. so handy getting food and water from. Unfortunately, they take dukes, and I don't have any. Yay. Alright. Uh, the forge works. Ooh. I... Do I want to... Let me go ahead and make a log. It'll burn a lot longer, and I don't have to worry about refueling it every few minutes. Let's get some brass, iron, funny extra junk I can throw it in there to melt down. Oh, looks like beds and... It's unfortunate they kick you out. This would be a wonderful place to bunk down for a long night. I wish you could pay, maybe, to even stay there. Just something to have a bit of extra protection. That would be fun. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Eh. Jennifer? Or Jenny? Jen. We're gonna call you Trader Jen. I met your boyfriend. He's the one that taught me the little juke I use with the uh, sledgehammer. You need some work? Step forward. I give a little wiggle. Delicious. They swing at you. Eh. You bonk them. I hope to see you I'm sure you probably heard all this from him a hundred times. So here, have some items. 
Uh, I'll keep one of those steroids. <laughs> Boy, that's gonna be handy if I need to run. I don't really have anything else I want to part with. Mm. You have forged iron repair kits, which I got stones right now for my gear. Alright, just I'll do that. Uh, tech junkie. That's nice. Man, a motorcycle would be amazing. That would be the best. Uh, first aid stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's cheap. I'll buy it. Hmm. Let's sell that. Out. Thanks for the business. All right, you know what? I think that's it. I'll save my money for the window. You know, we don't. I got some gear on me. You too, Jen. You have a great day. Let's get rid of the brass. I'll keep the stone, but. The lead and stuff I don't really use that much. I don't really know how to make ammo yet, so. Uh, ooh, can I make arrow tips? Hey, arrow heads. Ooh, I can go make some with some clay. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Until then, just some water. Uh, a health bar would be neat, but I haven't been hurt. Uh, basically, health bars increase your healing t by a factor of two. So, if I was hurt with, like, say, a laceration that take an hour to heal, it only heal in 30 minutes. My first goal for the day has been accomplished. I got to the trader. Um, come, who are you, Arlene? Hey, I heard about you too. Same guy I talked about, Jen. Let's go ahead. You know, I can just make it where no one sees all this, where I missed, but, uh, yeah, just take the, take it right in the damn chin. <laughs> okay, done there. Alright, I'm going to take a minute to look through these points. I, I know I have one to spend, and my early days are always usually the meh, bad decision-making ones. But it looks like I, I have no clue. <laughs> I don't want to starve to death, and I also want to be able to not die. So we'll deal with that later. Um. Ooh, corn. Alright. There we go. I'm going to clear out this place, settle in, because it's getting late, and I am in no shape to be out there at night wandering around with angry vicious zombies. Would you just stay down? Alright, I'm putting you down with the heavy stuff. And juke. Alright. Damn. Uh, yeah, let's get some corn. I... I'll at least get a couple of them down. Some plant fiber is always handy. Do I get more with that? Uh, a little bit. Oh well. So yeah. I want to use that bridge. That's going to be a nice place for me to settle in for the horde. It's uh, elevated. It's one way up and down. And unless they decide to, all right, unless they decide to come creep up at me uh, and break the whole damn thing, I'll be fine. Right. So, do I want to live here? I don't really have much of an option, considering how small of a world I live in. Eh. Let's go ahead and clear this place out first, then I'll bunker down and tidy it up. Ooh, hey, you look like a guy now. About time to sit down, thick. <clears throat> You're nobody. Okay, 
Anyway, up to the top and uh, dip, uh, some trash. Oh, sewing kits. That's handy. Uh, ooh. Oh, that poor guy just got smooshed half of them over there. Uh, can I get a clean shot? Yeah. I can't whiff this. I can. I can totally whiff that shot. And I'm glad he's... Perception's as good as, his, as it is. <sighs> Alright. God, give, give me my arrow back. Okay, just give. Alright. Alright, uh, ooh. Ammo. I... Yeah, it's, we're calling this home for the night. If I move, I move. If I don't, cool. I'll, uh, I'll reinforce this place and make it a little bit more sturdy. I have a whole gap downstairs I gotta close up. Till then, let's dump some crap in my chest. Uh, I'll probably need to lay this down. Yeah. If you live in an area and you have your bed roll out, zombies don't come back. So this will keep them from spawning in around me at night. Da -da -da. I'll keep the stone to repair my gear. Keep the wood. Uh, I'll go ahead and split up some bandos. Never hurts to have some emergency ones for the bad stuff. I'll keep the painkillers on me for right now. Let's see what else we got. Working stiff tools. You were poorly named before the apocalypse, buddy. Uh, another. Sh I have scrap for shovel now, but I have lock picks, meaning I can get into chests if I find any. All right, I'm going to start gathering up all these resources, breaking down these pallets, and hopefully get everything settled in before it hits uh, dark. Yeah, I totally forgot to look through the uh, <laughs> supplies there. Uh, I also unfortunately gathered up some attention from a thing down below. It sounds like a wolf. That's a that's a bad time. If it is. Been along. Put you out here for some light. And uh... oh crap, basket this is a wolf. Well, let's reload this blunder, and he knows I'm here. He's got to. There's... yeah. Take that. Nope. Ooh, boy. Alright, this is fun. Uh... Oh, man, you ate my hay. Why? Why? You, you're filled up on wheat now. Go away. Go away. I have some sharp arrows I'm throwing at or sharpened sticks I'm throwing at you. And like best case scenario I can come down there and blast you with an old school eighteen hundred special. God, this is so dumb. It sounds like there's more outside too. Uh, can I get a better shot through here? Oh. Oh man, he's just right up under me. Yeah. With it. Uh, 
you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to get shots in like this. Let's chop one more good punk to the back and see if that'll at least drop him. Nope. Okay. Plundy, I'm, I'm blowing this out from under my feet, basically. Ooh, I can oh, tie rope this, I guess. Alright, this could be dumb. This could be real dumb. Yeah, I could miss. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I don't want to miss. Come on. Stick your face out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You and... The cowboy and Eileen. That... Again. Ironic comp or perfect combo there. Take that. And you know what? I am totally not a scavenger and going in for the kill on both of you. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Well, that was fun. Let me uh, patch this hole up. Boy, that was. <laughs> Way too much effort for what it was. It's starting to get morning. Right. Well, we'll wrap this up here. This will be the first episode. The next one's a week-long compilation leading up to Horde Night. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, thank you all for watching and giving this a shot. Yeah, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you have any questions or just want to interact, comment. I love it. If you like this content and want to see the channel grow, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much again for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day.